So can you get into PT school with a low GPA? Oof, I've been asked this so many times. And if you're watching this video, very likely you consider your GPA not that high. So you're wondering, can my GPA, am I good enough to get into PT school? So in this video, we're gonna answer that question. What's going on? My name is Dr. Lifford Change, Justin Lee, physical therapist. I'm a PT school admission expert and I help students get accepted into physical therapy school. And I can help you as well if you have a low GPA. Because is it possible? Absolutely. Now, this past application cycle, I've had a student who had a 2.9, 3.0 GPA and got invited for an interview and it's gonna get accepted into PT school and I'm confident in that. So pretty much all until that point, if you already are invited to the interview, then your GPA doesn't matter after that because at that point, it's just how you perform in the interview and pretty much then it depends if you get accepted or not depending on your performance. So the question is, if you have a low GPA, how do you get to that interview process? So I do have a couple tips for y'all and some strategies to make sure that you can move on to the next step. So the first tip that I wanna give to you is number one, you definitely want to try to apply to a different range of schools, not just the schools that you wanna get into. So what that means is, okay, you might live in, let's say, uh, California, and you don't want to apply to anywhere else but only California schools, which is totally fine, but if your GPA is on that lower end, maybe just that like borderline 3.0, you're probably going to have to open up your horizons to apply to el apply elsewhere. Because, I mean, fact of the matter is, schools in California are super competitive. So you have to research online and look for different programs that have a lower minimum requirement or a lower average GPA or even a no <laughs> uh, minimum requirement. So my tip, the first tip for that is you wanna expand your horizons and try to apply to different places. Now there are a lot of locations on the West Coast and on the East Coast and definitely programs that give students the best chance to get in, especially if your GPA is on that high two point something or low three point something, okay? So that's tip number one. Tip number two, you're probably already thinking this. Okay, so my GPA isn't as high, so then where else can I, you know, bounce back so that I stand out? And I show the programs that I am doing what I can to uh, be serious about my career here. So that case study or that student who has that low GPA, however, studied his butt off and the GRE, his GRE score was above 300. I think it was like uh, low 150s for verbal, mid 150s for a quant and 4.0 or 4.5 for writing. So obviously very competitive at that point, you know, someone with a lower GPA like that and a higher GRE score is like, okay, you know, that it doesn't really match up. You would expect someone with that GRE score to have a higher GPA. So that means, hey, look, this student has the ability to study and, and uh, be disciplined to actually get a, sub, a significant grade, a really high grade. So that means, okay, let's not judge him on his past freshman, sophomore, junior year where he wasn't maybe as serious, but something that he took very uh, recently, like his GRE, he's proving to us that he can actually put in the work and get good results. So that was one aspect where he was able to kind of balance, per se, his application. Secondly, his essay. His essay was substantial, right? He was able to stand out. He was able to portray himself to show why he wants to be a physical therapist and really sound compelling. And so there's different parts of the application that you can do to offset this GPA thing. Sure, letters of rec, observation hours, ah, I wouldn't really put a lot of money or a lot of weight on that. Um, but most likely it's gonna be, or not most likely, but for the most part, if your GPA is not as high, you gotta off weight it by having a higher GRE score or your essay. Okay, so now I know you're thinking, oh my gosh, I am doomed because if you are anything like me, and when I was applying to PT school, um, when I was thinking about the GRE, I'm not a good test taker. I'm not a good standardized test taker. And I just 
can't get to that point. I mean, I can if I studied really hard and I was confident in that, but I was just so scared because of this big test, it was crippling me and I did, couldn't get to that point. So, okay, so then if that's, if that's the case and you're already telling yourself, I, I'm not gonna get a high GRE score because that's just not me, which I wouldn't uh, recommend that you think that way, because I sh just really quick, I went into it that way, didn't do so hot on my GRE, then I shifted my mindset and I said, you know what, I can grow from this. Um, what my grade is now won't define me from what I can become. Study my butt off, hit that 150 mark for both of them and I said, oh, I am in, let's go. So it's definitely possible. But that's besides the point, a little tangent there. But if you are like, hey, you know what, GRE, not gonna do that. So then you're narrowing your chances, chances and selection even more, because now you're looking for minimum GPA being either nothing or super low, probably a program that doesn't require the GRE or is super low. Then out of the hundreds of PT programs out there, you're down to just a handful. And so, okay, you know, all to you, I support you. I don't recommend that, but I will support you if you go down that route. So then at that point, what's left in your GPA or what's left in your application? It's your essay, right? So now, okay, you're approaching this essay. All right, how do you stand out? You're reading the prompt. It's so vague, you're scratching your head like, oh, I don't know how I'm gonna stand out because I'm gonna sound like everybody else. And I don't know what's significant. I don't know what is actually gonna be compelling and capture the attention of the admissions committee. And if you have these thoughts going through your head, chances are you're probably right. <laughs> uh, we're pretty, pretty smart about you know, critiquing ourselves in the story and how we're gonna write things. And when we write it, we're like, you know, this doesn't sound good. If it doesn't sound good to you, probably isn't as good. However, if you get some feedback from somebody else, and they tell you otherwise, if they're a good friend, they would actually tell you for what it is. So if that's the case and you're looking for some help with the essay, I'm your guy, I'm your expert. I help students get accepted into PT school and more specifically, we work on the personal statement and supplemental questions together to get your story out, to bring out the deep reason why you wanna be a physical therapist and communicate that on paper, because that's the hardest part, right? So during our sessions, I'm asking you deep questions, I'm asking you uh, questions that are challenging for you to answer, but it's really getting to the deep, 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 deep core and the heartfelt aspect of your life that's gonna be used to help you stand out amongst the crowd of applicants. So if you're a student who's applying this year or as you're watching this video and you're like, I need some help, for the PT school application process. Don't worry, I've got you covered. I'm a PT school admission expert and I help students get accepted into PT school. So if you want, if you're interested in some one-on-one -on -one coaching, please fill out the link in the bio uh, or in the description below, or you can go to the bio on my Instagram page and fill out the application. As I go through it, if I feel like we're a good fit, I will reach out to you. Then the next step would be a consultation call. At that point, we'll just go through your application and kind of see what you're looking for, see if it would be a good fit, fill things out. And at, point, at, at that point, if it's good, then we'll move forward with the, fir the next the second step and talk about some options as far as one-on-one -on -one coaching. So if you're interested, definitely make sure you go to those links. But guys, I hope this video was super helpful, especially if you're a student with a lower GPA and you're still trying to get into PT school. You've done everything you can, but you know you might have gotten so far off the end where you're like, I don't know how much I can really improve my GPA and my application at this point. So then really what's left are GRE and the personal statement or supplemental questions. And I can help you definitely with not the GRE, <laughs> but those um, essays and those supplemental questions. So I hope this video has helped you and I hope this has inspired you to really take the next step forward to take your future seriously. Every day is a great day to lift weights, lift others, and lift yourself up. Stay lifting, lift for change.